there's this need from an HR perspective to focus on building strong engagement in this virtual and hybrid work in which we operate, world in which we operate, fostering trust and uncertainty um, at this point in time uh, is, is high. So how do we get that trust going very well? And then obviously building a resilient workforce because the idea is that this will keep changing uh, over and over again. So our research also indicates that, you know, 90% of organizations are in the midst of an enterprise-wide transformation, but uh, the HR function needs to uh, adapt and change to that as well. So firstly, in terms of the key focus areas for the new uh, HR function, there are some key characteristics that we that, and focus areas that, we've, that we have found through our research and some of the leading uh, organized, HR organizations are moving towards. And that is that the employee experience is becoming fundamentally important. HR is being looked at to take the lead in, in, in architecting what we call the employee experience. And using the customer experience, which has been around for a while as the, as the basis for that, but now a increased demand and expectation that the experience that employees have in the physical workspace, in the digital workspace, is, you know, is intuitive, is easy, easy to use, um, it builds trust uh, and resilience, and of course, it's mobile enabled is a, is a huge uh, expectation. The use of cognitive tools, uh, I mentioned that earlier, playing a key role uh, from an HR perspective. But cognitive tools, I'm talking, talking about elements such as RPA, uh, artificial learning, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, you know, all the new emerging technologies, the need to, 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 to use that from an employee perspective. We also see a high a move to much uh, higher levels of expectation on personalization. So this hyper-personalized expectation that employees now have of any organization. So, you know, self-service has been around for a while for most organizations. Uh, some of the early adopters move into chatbots and virtual agents and using that to create higher levels of personalization. The expectation from HR is that HR, you know, becomes a much more, gives you the ability to create much more deeply personalized, employee-centered uh, HR services, skills becoming the new currency, uh, and in fact, decision-making now being driven by, by data and insights, and that decisions uh, not only give you a historical perspective, but like I said before, uh, have a predictive capability. Thank you.